All right, third main brain region is the brain stem. So we've been through the cerebrum, the diencephalon, and now we are here. So this green, blue, and purple, um, pretty deep in the brain is the brain stem connects um, to the spinal cord. So um, that's where we are. Let's go there. So here's the same um, kind of picture here, kind of where we are. And so the purple on top is the thalamus, hypothalamus right there. That's part of the diencephalon. Right now, we're talking from the, the whole green portion here. So this, the very subtly different medium green is the midbrain. Pons is caudal to that, kind of pond shaped. And then the medulla oblongata is caudal to the pons um, and looks a lot like the spinal cord, but it's a little bit fatter still. The yellow things on here are cranial nerves. So I'm going to add a detailed picture. Um, you do not need to know all of this. A lot of what's shown here are cranial nerves. So when we talk about cranial nerve function, we're going to be talking about a lot of um, brainstem function because the integration of the information from those cranial nerves is going to integrate, um, connect in, in the brainstem. Oh, so that's a lot of what you're seeing there. Okay, first region is this um, top portion here. This is our midbrain, kind of about here. They kind of overlaps in back. So about, about that stuff there. Um, here's our midbrain. Some of the structures, so, so the, uh, the midbrain is involved in eye movement, um, particularly the superior and inferior colliculus. Those are involved in eye movement, which is pretty much unconscious, right? Adjusting eye movement um, as you're living in, in the world. Um, and also body movements, so kind of unconscious body movements. So I'm going to show I have one more picture pop up over here. This is the midbrain as well. And some of the nuclei within the mid midbrain that are important are um, the substantia niagara. You may have heard of this. So these right here, this means black substance. This contains dopamine cells that are involved in um, well, both of the, the other nucleus that we're talking about, as well as the red nucleus, both involved in movement. If you've heard of Parkinson's disease, it's thought to be due to a loss of dopamine in the substantia niagara specifically. This dopamine projects to other brain regions, um, the, the striatum in the basal nucleus to be involved in altering motor control, motor function. Red nucleus is the other one then. We will see this when we talk about um, motor pathways as well. So we'll come back to that again, involved in, in movement. Okay, um, pons, this big pond shaped thing right here. Um, pons is largely involved in breathing. Um, so we don't really have to think about breathing, regulation of how much we're breathing in and out without having to, to think about that. It's also a relay, relay station, contains re relay stations in the pons. Um, and then also several cranial nerves off the pons. And lastly, medulla. So medulla oblongata is the full name, often just called the medulla. Um, this is involved in a lot of involuntary functions as well. So things like, let me do this like this, blood pressure regulation, breathing as well, swallowing, heart rate, which is related to blood pressure, heart rate, so the vagus nerve. Um, so again, all of these cranial nerves that are listed here, we're going to see some of them and their, their, their functions um, relate to a lot of these functions.